Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I had a little bit of an interruption call. I had to pick that shit up. So I was probably going to have to be part two. So the reason I was saying slacking was a threat. He had to do truant and everything like that. That shit was extremely insane, the way he did it and everything. There's actually another picture I would show you, but it's a little bit crazy. I'm about to do another part three on this thing, because for the honorable mentions, I might do a separate video on that. But yeah, another thing that makes him extremely powerful is he's able to learn a lot of fighting type moves. He has a huge giant move pool. He can learn every elemental type move, like dragon, psychic, electric, water, fire, etc., etc., and so on and so forth. And that's why this thing can kill people and can kill any Empire State Building that's out there. It's extremely fucking insane. Two and one is going to be um, Steelix. Actually, no. Two and one would have been Steelix, but it's going to be a little bit more different. I was going to put um, Aegis Slash on here for number six, but I wanted Steelix a lot more. So while well, you know what number one is, I'm probably going to have to put in my honorable mentions. But this is going to be number one for the main list, Steelix. The reason why this fucker is extremely dangerous and why I love him so fucking much. One of the first steel types I automatically fell in love with. This thing was a huge threat. It was the second evolution of Onyx, which I really think they still should have given him a pre-baby evolution for Onyx. Or a regular, regular form. Because that thing is extremely fucking huge. But at the same time, he's a huge ass fucking threat. And the reason why he would be extremely threatening to humanity with Steelix if it was the Crystal Onyx. So imagine a Crystal Steelix, this thing will be a billion times more of a fucking threat to humanity because it could just kill things, make earthquakes, unfortunately make a lot of hurricanes and everything. It was able to swim underwater like a sea serpent. The only difference is this fucker right here is extremely super effective against water types or ground types, fighting types. He's four times effective, effective to it because um, he was a ground and rock type, but then they had aggro in the third generation after this when Jota was all finished. And that's why he's an extremely huge threat. He's able to learn a lot of fire type moves. Fire Fang, Ice Fang, Poison Fang, which is kind of weird because he's a steel type. He's not able to learn that, but he's still able to concede that type of thing. And he's a huge fucking threat in the OUNU type of tier. And uh, with that said, he's a uh, Iron Tail's extremely huge, massive thing. It used to be a signature moon back in the day, but they took it out after Jasmine Steelers, which was a gym leader. She trained that thing like a fucking boss. That's why I love the hell out of that trainer, gym leader as well. And with that said, that's all I had to say. So be on the lookout for honorable mentions on a separate video. So that's all I had to say for now. Hopefully you saw part one after this video or before this video. But like I always do say, it's what it is and what it ain't. See you when I see you guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. Wherever you're at around the world, don't drink and smoke weed at the same time. Don't turn directly. See you soon. See you around. Peace out. Late. Goodbye. I'm gone and I'm out. Late.